I don't want to, we don't need another Italian American to go to jail, but Del Vecchio got off kind of scot free. Well, what happened in that trial? Well, you know, uh, one of the witnesses against him was Linda, Greg's, uh, a Greg and mine, my ex girl, and Linda's ex common law wife. Yeah. Uh, and she's probably the one that knew the most about him because Greg told her a lot more than he told a lot of other people. You know, you think you don't tell your wife everything, but he did. Yeah. And uh, my, this is my opinion, only my opinion. Yeah. I think Linda, she had made this tape years ago with Jerry Capisi years earlier. Okay. And saying that the Vecchio isn't bad. Now, all the information that his own agents got, plus <laughs> what I brought to the table, what other people brought, it zeroed in on Lynn. She was protecting him at one point. The reason is, I believe, after Greg Sr. died, they kept her on the payroll. I think oh. they kept, yeah, that's my opinion. She was getting subsidence, whatever the word is, Some and season. was able to survive. Once mm. time ran out and they said, not nah, enough is enough. We can't keep sending her 1500 a month or 2000 a month, whatever it was. Now she got bitter and she decided to come clean and tell the truth. There was no reason for her not to be truthful anymore because they weren't paying her. So she comes out and tells a story about him. Capisi gets involved and sends the tapes where she contradicted herself. Now, yeah, but it still should have been thrown out. You and can't make you, this shit. You can't make this shit up, Larry. No, but the, it, it should have been thrown out the case, and here's why. Yeah, you. If you're a good prosecutor, yeah, like when your witness goes to take the stand. You lay that out first, okay? Like, you know, you say uh, Larry Mazza is not an altar boy. He's been involved in this, this, and this. So they're not yeah. shocked. They know, John. They didn't do that with Linda. They should have said who Linda was and explained. Uh, th they could have explained why she lied back then and let the judge make his decision. Because now Correct. you threw out 95% of good evidence because of that one take. And that would never happen in federal court. The feds would say, oh, listen, we'll explain it away. Correct. Correct. And the judges will say, oh, it's, it's not good. Get it out of here. It's, it's too old. You know, you can't win. But in the state of New York, where it's a fair trial, uh, you yeah. know, but the judge on that case made it very crystal clear yeah. that even though he told the vacuum, you're walking out of this court a free man, yeah. I don't think you're innocent. Because yeah. the very worst... You grossly mishandled your wit. That's that's the least I could say. You know, he ripped them a new one. He ripped the whole FBI a new one. And I, I'm, I think they're just happy it all went away because he had made a comment. If he got convicted, he was going to talk. And then who I, knows how high it would. I, uh, yeah. I have a, and I know you know this already, and I don't want to get too, too into it. But I'm more worried about the feds and the mob, to be honest. Um, I think either the higher ups like we're like hey do this this and this or like the higher ups were involved right and right. and 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 he can he knows where the bodies are buried or they weren't involved but del vecchio had pictures of them with goats and is like listen you know here's my get out of jail card so i think that's, that had something to do with it so we're going to be wrapping up soon but i i, I want to spend a lot of time on that because i felt it was important <laughs> to discuss the strategy of the war we can that we can do a part two anytime you want. Well, that's what I'm saying because your your life is a lot more yeah. than one hour. So let's Even get to like to set back. up. We'll set up for the part two. But for now, um, what happened after that? You 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 know did your ten years? Who who did Larry become after that? Because I would like to do one whole episode on who you are now yeah. as a person. Yeah, you know? well, we, we can. What happened was uh, basically, you know, a very important thing for somebody coming out after you know it's a considerable amount of time and guys that have done a lot more than me. But yeah. coming at, after 10 years, you need family support. I had it. Didn't have to worry about a roof over my head. Didn't have to worry about how I'm going to get my next meal. I had my my immediate family. Yeah. Uh, I got, you know, while I was away, I did a lot of writing. I wrote my story. Yeah. I wrote other things. I read a lot. I studied lots of uh, things. Uh, I was always a coach. I was always a trainer. Uh, so I, 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 I studied up on that. I took two or three courses and became a, a, a personal trainer and instructor. 
And when I came out, I worked in various places. Uh, I still continued on with my book. And uh, ultimately, bottom line, I, I have a gym of my own and I'm trained. I have trainers under me. Uh, and my book was, you know, I, I published it myself. Uh, yeah, and I did sure. that by design. Yeah. Because uh, I want to re- hold on to the rights in every way. Correct, and correct. I can change it. I can change it if I have to. If there's yeah. additions, like new yep. things happening in my life, I can add another two chapters if I want. Right. You want you, know, you want to control uh, the IP, so, which I totally understand. Totally understand. Right. So anyway, uh, De Niro is going to be doing the uh, Irishman. Oh. So he gets him. It, the, the police on his uh, security team were retired from my, uh, the New York. Uh, department and they were all on my case so when he was looking for somebody as a consultant they gave him my book and they said this is the guy you want so I came and met him you know many many months later and he told me the book was terrific he said that several times he put me with Scorsese he put me with Nick Pileggi uh and he got me a little part in the movie and I like I, I worked with him several times so that sort of opened up some doors because people started seeing a picture of me with him in different places. Yep. I did a lot of book signings. I did the Mom Museum. Uh, and you have to do that if you're an unknown author. You have to yeah, do that. You got to do the, you gotta do the rounds, uh, you know? Yeah. yeah. I did a lot of documentaries. Uh, I 